tell with the hurry up that it kind of weighed on you a little bit. You guys kind of weighed on the start in the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. I think, uh, you know, in the first quarter, I think both teams are feeling it. But as we go on and progress the game, we've been doing it longer than they have. And I, I really believe it showed today. Um, in the third quarter, you can start to feel guys get tired. You know, it's, these long drives are starting to take a toll on them. And uh, I think that's what resulted in a lot of those explosive plays is that we're able to keep going at the tempo that we go at. And uh, they're, they're not used to that. Tanner, a lot, of them, a lot was made of the run game, but it seemed like there were a lot of open holes for those running backs to shoot at and make those explosive plays. How how kind of did that kind of formulate, and how's the continuity been on this offensive line with Renfro out? Really good. Um, you know, with Jake being out, uh, it's, it's been a little different, um, but I think we've done a good job in adapting to that and uh, building that kind of group cohesion that you really like to see in an O-line. And then as for the holes, um, just kind of being able to spread the field with the offensive style that we have and a lot of the formations we line up in. It kind of allows for there to be a lot less guys in the box. And, you know, if you get a couple of guys out of position on the defense, it really opens a lot of running lanes and options for those backs. You mentioned the passing game. It may not have been as hot but the system as the game. I know you still have to look at the film. What's your take on what you guys may need to iron out the passing game or what the, the challenges were trying to implement that scheme in the first game? I mean, I think it just, you know, the first game, uh, it's an entirely new offense, and especially in the first game, you're not sure what you're going to see. So I think uh, Buffalo did a good job of mixing up looks, you know, keeping us on our toes. And, you know, the first game, just sorting out those little details. But you now headed into week two, I think we'll feel a little better about that and uh, just, you know, execute and finish in place. Um, it's exciting to see that we didn't do everything in the past game because it just shows that if we do execute, we do do those things right, we can be really explosive offense down the road. You guys are kind of used to wearing teams out by the second half. Is it is it different in this offense in the way that you do it, or like how do you feel? Do you feel a difference between what you guys are used to doing to this? I would say definitely it's a lot more speed wear out. You know, uh, you're really going, you're pushing the tempo as fast as you can, and uh, I think just it's a lot less of a, we're going to beat you, beat you, beat you, and then wear you out compared to a, we're going to go as fast as we can until your conditioning kind of runs out and we're in better shape than you. I think that's more the wear out it was today. It wasn't quite as maybe physical as you're used to seeing, um, especially because we don't like run the ball with so many guys in the box from previous attack. But I think, you know, we still brought the physicality today and uh, did a good job on um, being able to run that tempo that we wanted to go at. What was your impression of how Tanner played today and maybe even how he handled himself a couple of throws he probably won't back? Mm -hmm. And I think that's how games are going to be. You know, you're going to make mistakes. And I, I definitely have some for myself. So I, I don't fault him for any decisions he made. But it's exciting. You know, you see him make a lot of plays and a lot of good decisions. Um, and you know he's going to clean those up. I mean, he is a true competitor, and he wants to win so bad. So, like, you know, you know he's more frustrated at himself than anyone. But he's going to come back out there, and he's going to do his best and clean redeem himself in the next step. And I thought he did a great job at that today. Um, and just, just watching him make some plays, you know, on that third down, being able to make a guy miss, uh, it was pretty sweet. And, you know, seeing a quarterback be able to do that is something nice for the old line. Tanner, only two completions of 15-plus air yards today, 21 completions under five air yards. Was that part of the game plan, and do you anticipate more intermediate and deep passing as the game goes along, or is that still not? I think, uh, you know, it's more of a take what you get. Um, I think Buffalo did a good job at, you know, making sure we limited our big play opportunities and making us earn those yards. So um, if it's five yards, still, you know, a five-yard gain. I think, you know, if you get two five-yard gains, the first down. So we're, we're happy with that as an offense. Um, and I think, you know, just seeing what defense is doing, what we can do to exploit them. Um, it's going to be something we do going down the road. But I'm, I'm excited to see how that looks. Did it feel, like feel like a huge weight was lifted off your shoulders as far as this thing? Talking about September second forever, mm -hmm. and, and it's finally here, and got a win, and Coach Fix got his first win. Does it feel good? I mean, like to get all this out of the way and just now concentrate on the rest of the season. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think you know, for the first game, nobody knows what we're going to look like. We we don't know what exactly things are going to be like, and uh, it's just nice to go out there as a team and get a good team win. You know, where it didn't come easy. You know, you had to overcome some adversity, and I think it just showed our team uh, was able to battle through that. And I'm, I'm excited to see how that factors in going on. Tanner, overall, when you talk about kind of this offense and today, you said how conditioning wears down the rest of the team, but how have you guys mentally prepared to kind of withhold opposing defenses and stay true to your course throughout the whole game? I think, uh, you know, just practicing that way. You know, we're going to practice as fast as we can, practice at that tempo, so that when we get in the game, it's not something new to us. Um, it was kind of crazy, actually, because, you know, when we, the speed we go at and practice is faster because the officials are taking their time spotting the ball, so we can't go as fast as we, you know, had in practice or as fast as we want to. 
Um, so, so it was cool to just kind of see that, that we, we actually practice, you know, faster. But I think that, that makes it easier. You know, if you practice faster, you practice harder. It makes the games easier, you know, and uh, I think that shows you that. This was uh, obviously you Tanner's first game in, in game situation. You work, you work with him obviously at Tanner in, in practice. I'm just wondering what what stood out to you about seeing him in in this environment and you know when the when everything's real, so to speak. Uh, just excited, you know, his energy as a leader, um, his ability to lead the offense on the field, and I think you know even if he makes a mistake, he's not going to mentally take himself out of the game. Um, he had a couple today, but. As did we all, and uh, he was just able to bounce back. You know, you wouldn't even know what happened in the last play because I'm in the huddle. And I think this, it's a really good thing to see in your quarterback that it doesn't mentally affect him. He's able to bounce back, get right back in, and he wants to go, go get one. Now, you know, he, he has that edge to him, and it's really exciting for us to see that. Tanner, what kind of improvements are you looking for for the offense going forward? And uh, like, is there anything kind of on your mind heading into week two? I think just consistency, you know, I think we had some big plays that we missed. Uh, just a couple opportunities, I think, you know, all around, there's no line. I think there's some, some some things to clean up and uh, just as an offense. Um, so just headed into week two, just making sure we're consistent, you know, guys aren't making simple mistakes, not missing simple reads, and uh, we're able to execute things on a, on a higher level. And I don't want to get way ahead of myself, but you've played center, you've played guard, obviously the NFL and things like that value that versatility. Has it kind of just become second nature to you when you're kind of changing positions as frequently as you kind of have this offseason? Or what's your mindset going into that? Absolutely. I think it's just something that you always want to be able to do. Because when you go into a game, you never know what's going to happen. Somebody might go down, something might happen, and you might have to be thrown into that role. So I think, you know, being able to learn each position, have opportunity to practice at that, and then, you know, in the game, having that experience, uh, it's really allowed me to just kind of feel very comfortable transitioning from position to position in short periods of time.